In a minute, we're going to be hearing from Nadim Zahawi. He's the Secretary of State for Education, responsible for so much of what happens in classrooms in England. Everything from what you learn to the amount of support you get from your teachers. Now, one of the big issues facing lots of schools is how children with special educational needs can be better supported. It's a question the government are trying to answer as part of something called the SEND Review. Now, SEND, S-E-N-D, stands for Special Educational Needs and Disabilities. So that includes things like one-to-one -one support or speech and language therapy, and that extra support costs schools more money. Well, we took three Newsround viewers to meet the Education Secretary to find out what he's planning to do to change the system. Um, Nadim Sahawi, you are the Education Secretary. Thank you so much for being with us today. We've got some fantastic questions yes. here from children who want to know a little bit more about what you can do to yeah. help them. Yeah. Nate here is going to start us off with his question. Okay. I like school because I have a teaching assistant to help me with my work. What are you going to do to make sure other children with autism can have a teaching assistant? It's a really important question, Nate, and thank you. Uh, for asking it. So uh, we have around 270,000 teaching assistants. I've just published what is called the school's white paper uh, which will become I hope um, in the future legislation, so the law, um, uh, which supports more training for um, uh, teachers and also an SCND green paper which is really a big consultation. So we're asking children uh, parents to engage with us as to how we can improve um, uh, the uh, special educational needs um, uh, in our uh, school system. Because I know your dad and lots of parents have had to go through courts yes. to try and get that support I and mean, that's not right is it? That is not right at all. We as a department can play a much bigger role in to, yeah. to make sure that national system is in place so parents know that you know, this is the level of support they get. Even if they move home, it'll be the same wherever they move to. Okay, all right. And they don't feel that, that they have to go to a tribunal or to court to get listened to, to get heard. Uh, and that's, I'm determined to change that. Um, and that's why I want to hear the voice of, of children and their parents in this consultation. Ella, you've been waiting very patiently there. Do you want to ask your question? I have cerebral palsy. And to help me with my writing, I use voice recognition. But it took a long time to get. Why is this and how will you help other kids to get the equipment they need? We need to make sure that all around the country um, we deliver the same um, support at the right time, in the right place for every child. How do you make sure of that? So that's, that's, that's exactly, so I've, I've gone back and looked at um, what we were doing and where the, where the gaps are. But I promise you, we are taking this really seriously to make sure the support is there um, uh, you know, when a child needs it. Ella, your mum and dad worked really hard, didn't they, to get this piece of kit for you, this technology. How has it changed your life? Well, I used to get really tired when I was writing and I was only able to get maybe a couple of lines in my, in my book. But with Dragon, I'm able to get my thoughts and my ideas on the pages that I see them. I, I, I'm sorry it's been such a struggle. Um, I want to make sure we learn from experience so that um, other children um, don't have to wait um, as long or can get that support because it's clearly making a difference. Oh. Jess, what's your question for Nadine Sahar? Um, I've always had some good teachers, but there are still some barriers in education. Background noise, people not facing me when they speak, and supply teachers who don't know how to help me learn. How could deaf awareness be improved in schools? The best thing I can do is learn from really good practice and share it. I want every child to have that support, that great experience, wherever they live in the country. Jess, if you've got a teacher who understands your needs, how does that make you feel? Quite nice because um, it's good that they understand how to like, teach me and like, 
if I have a problem, like how to help. Appreciate mm. your time today, uh, Secretary for Education, and uh, thank you for talking to Newsround. Thank you so much for having me. Well, the government say the big review will allow parents and children to have their say between now and the 22nd of July. And when it comes to education, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have different powers so they can be responsible for how schools are run there. But in England, many critics say the government's plans don't go far enough and it's hard to get a sense of how they can improve help for children with special educational needs, especially at a time when many councils, the people who run things in the local area where you live, haven't got as much money to spend on extra educational services. Now, I spoke to one charity who told me there's been a rise in the number of young people needing extra help in classrooms, but with the cost of many services going up, it's very hard to see how things will improve. Nadim Zahar, we told Newsround more money will be made available, but still lots of parents told me it's taken the government too long to try and fix a system that they say is already broken.